This dog is ready to implode. Right at this moment, I feel like, why am I even here? My God, you should have told me. You didn't think that this was going to be a deal? I just think some people are playing stupid. I was like, great, she's going to leave. It's just not going to work. <laughs> This dog's bark went straight through my head. When I first came in the door, he was a nightmare. I want to just start the process of what people do when they come into your house and they move. If I was starting to move now, I would go, Jake, and I would walk. What does that do? That tells him, like okay, first to, exactly. It redirects what could be ew, frustrative, angry, fearful behavior and getting his brain changed by giving him food. Redirection or refocusing a dog's attention from something negative onto something positive and giving them a job to do can help in so many different situations with so many different behavior problems. His reaction to the somebody knocking on the door, I want to teach you how to manage it, okay? And uh, I have your friend Perry outside, who I know comes and looks after him when you're not here. Yeah. And I've prepped him for what I want him to do. Okay. But I'm going to take you through what I want you to do. And then, Michael, you're going to take over, okay? Michael, for so long, has had such a confrontational relationship with Jake. <laughs> I wanted him to experience training his dog in a positive way and seeing the results. I'm gonna walk down and let Perry in. Yeah, but you're gonna wait until he comes Calm down. down, correct. Okay. And then All I right. give him a treat. Yep. <laughs> Throw a piece of food to him as soon as you see him. Good boy. Good boy, Jakey. Nice. Good boy. Good boy. Like your tone of voice, Michael, that's great. <laughs> wait till he's quiet. Good boy. Good. Good boy, Jakey. Shut the door behind your guest. Okay, now Perry takes over. Good. Perry, throw it past Michael so that the dog goes past you, which means you can walk a little bit. And you can make a bit of stool the piano. Good. Good boy. By getting a dog to do something that they like, seeking out food, you completely change the brain from absolute freak out to work mode. How easy was that? It was easy. Yeah. Now I see that Jake wants to be more like understood as opposed to dominated. There has been a definite change in his behavior and it's definitely been for the positive. We've seen amazing progress, amazing progress with Jake. It's a new morning. I wanted to check how the door training was going by me knocking on the door. Hey, hi. Hey. We're busy soon. Seriously, have you got another dog? For no, it's just for dog. 20 days. My for parents you. went to Africa. And Taylor barks a lot. <laughs> Why did you tell me? I. I figured can, I'd hide them. We can separate them. We can separate them. Um, we did that last night while we were working with Jake. Okay, Taylor was antagonizing him a little bit and continuing the barking, which was... Which is really not great for the whole training process. Correct. My God, you right. should have told me. We're going to separate them. That, do you know... No. Why didn't you Jake, tell me? Boy. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't. You didn't think that this was going to be a deal? You've got another dog now that's... A barker too, it's gonna make but he... wait 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 a second, wait a second, I'm the trainer. I I know the deal. You've got a dog with severely, you know, difficult problems. And that dog needs to have absolutely 100 percent focus and attention and bringing another dog in here that's gonna just goad him with barking and stuff. It, 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 I, I'm like, I seriously, seriously. We should have told you. I thought Victoria would be mad if all of a sudden I said, well, I'm gonna have this other dog at my house. We thought we could hide him for a couple of days, but she caught us and she's really mad. You're just gonna set the training right back. 
because Jake is going to be antagonized by what's his name? Taylor. Taylor. Hi, baby. Hi, I was Jake. saying last ah! night when we worked ah! on the, uh... Ah! Taylor, it's okay. And I felt bad because she's like, after all our hard work and Jake was doing so well and now he's going to have a setback. So it's like, great. As far as when he came last night and we worked with Jake, you know, me going in and out of the bedroom. Was he in the bedroom too? No, no, he no, was, no. he stayed, okay. he actually stayed with Jessica and he was so not Jessica, a Jessica, you got a dog in your bedroom? Yep. Sleeping with you at night? I finally get Jess back in her own room, dogless. And Taylor's sleeping with her. <laughs> that's not Jake, that's Taylor. Taylor, come. Now, now you've got another dog in your house. Come, Listen to your voice. Come, Taylor, come. So now you're going to, after the stuff that I've done with I'm your gonna voice, separate to try and... No, I'm going to separate him. Jake's going to hear your voice if you're... No, OK, this is it. I... I... It's going to be twice as hard, I know that. It's just, it's just not going to work. I was like, great, she's just going to leave, because she kept saying, well, you're on your own, you, know, you have two dogs. I was like, OK, she's not going to help us anymore, Michael. Like, she's really mad. Um, I'm going to go out and um, just sort of gather my thoughts to see what we're going to do. But right at this moment, I feel like, why am I even here? And I feel like just, you know, going, you know what? Good luck and leaving. I try really hard to impress upon people how important it is to follow the training in the way that it is. We've seen amazing progress with Jake because we've been concentrating fully on him, focusing on him. Add another dog that's a reactive dog too. And it's gonna undo all of the training that we've done with Jake. I'm sorry, but I just think some people are playing stupid. And that's all I can say. I don't think they get it. On the other hand, I'm here for Jake, and I wanna help as much as possible with the little time I have left. Unfortunately, Taylor's arrival has had the effect that I thought on Jake's behavior. It's very difficult to train a dog when there's another reactive dog in the house. No, Lisa, step away. Step away. Oh, let's go. go. When guests come over, I typically will take the lead. Lisa's not quite there yet. Um, it's going to require a little bit more training her, I would think. I really hope Taylor doesn't stay with them for very much longer because it's hampering Jake's recovery. Good boy. <laughs>